There was a lock here and that broke that was broken. This is the spot where Vancouver police say someone stole a big piece of Javier Romo. Disbelief and disappointment. A custom-made titanium frame mountain bike. Javier built it himself. I put everything into that bike because it was my baby. To understand why, you need to know where we are. The VA Recovery Center in Vancouver. Javier is a U.S. Marine Corps veteran. He served at the onset of the Iraq War. I was on the berm as the scud attacks were coming in. When he left the Marines after nine years of service, Javier says the person he was before combat was gone. I was struggling quite a bit with post-traumatic stress and then later with substance abuse, including alcohol abuse. A big part of Javier's therapy came from the outdoors, physical activity in nature, especially mountain biking. The mountain bike immediately took me out of this thing and gave me moments where I was present and where I didn't have to suffer being in here. So that's why that, that bike means so much to me and that's why so much went into that build. Javier lives in Bend now. When he came to Vancouver back in March, it was for a two-month treatment program. He brought his bike because he trusted it would be safe here. There was a period where I would have been angry, but I think it was disappointing more because I would have been happier to donate that bike. I would have been happy to donate it so that the person that's riding it can know what that bike meant and what that bike brought to me. And in, in, in my hopes that it would bring the same to someone else, but it's not going to do that now. Javier hopes people who know bikes will recognize the red Chris King components on his or the Fox 36 fork or the titanium frame and wheels. He also started a GoFundMe. He says he'd be grateful for donations, either to help him afford a new bike or parts to rebuild one. If I could get some shop time somewhere and some tubes and build another frame and get into similar components that that bike had, that's, I would love that. In the meantime, Javier remains focused on rebuilding his life. Vancouver Police is aware of the case. Anyone with information on what happened to the bike or where it is can reach out to them. We've also posted a link to Javier's GoFundMe on our website. KGW.com. David. Yeah, we thank him for his service and we hope someone returns his bike. Thank you, Catherine.